For about a decade, Hugh Grant was everywhere. The charming Brit was the crown prince of rom-coms and practically inescapable at the movies. Then, well, he wasn't around much anymore. What happened? That whole sex scandal thing. Back before a sex tape was a representation of fame and success, sex scandals were, well, scandalous. And Hugh Grant was embroiled in a particularly infamous one. In 1995, the affable actor was busted for hooking up with a prostitute named Divine Brown in his car. He looked particularly sheepish in his mugshot. Oh, and did we mention he was dating actress Elizabeth Hurley at the time? Grant released a statement telling the press, Last night, I did something completely insane. I have hurt people I love and embarrassed people I work with. For both things, I am more sorry than I can ever possibly say. Grant got off easy in more ways than one. He escaped the potential six months of jail time and instead paid a $1,000 fine and participated in an AIDS education program. He also faced some comeuppance from Jay Leno on The Tonight Show. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Grant was forthcoming about his obvious mistake, however. I think you know in life uh, pretty much what's a good thing to do and what's a, b a bad thing. And um, I did a bad thing, and there you have it. He's over rom-coms. The romantic comedy market has begun to dry up in recent years, and Grant's most recent effort in the genre didn't fare so well. Did You Hear About the Morgans was a critical and box office bomb, netting only half of its $58 million budget in ticket sales. It doesn't sound like it bugs Grant too much, though, because he's tired of the genre. Grant admitted to The Telegraph that he's not in a lot of movies anymore because he just doesn't feel like doing them. His other films aren't money makers either. Cloud Atlas had very lofty expectations, a stellar cast featuring Grant, Tom Hanks, Halle Berry, and Susan Sarandon, a time-warping plot, lots of double casting, and plenty of attempts at depth and touching moments. It also had a $102 million budget. Unfortunately, the film only netted about $27 million in ticket sales. Similarly, the action-packed The Man from UNCLE cost $75 million to produce but only grossed $45 million. Of course, these bombs aren't Grant's fault, but combined with his spotty track record, casting directors and producers may see him as the kiss of death. He can't stop having kids. Grant has had four love children in the last four years, and at one point, two of his girlfriends were pregnant at the same time. In December of 2015, the London Lothario fathered his fourth child, a daughter, with Swedish television producer Anna Eberstein. Eberstein is also the mother of his son, John, who was born in 2012. Grant's other two tykes, Tabitha and Felix, were birthed by restaurant hostess Tinglin Hong. We suspect Grant may be having a hard time squeezing movies in between all that unexpected baby-making. I can't pretend it wasn't a little bit of a surprise, right. but it's a very nice surprise. He's almost too handsome. Grant's breakout role was in Four Weddings and a Funeral, and he almost didn't get the part because he was just too attractive. Screenwriter Richard Curtis actually voted against Grant taking the lead role in the film, stating, the absolutely key thing for that film when I was writing it was that the person who was playing the lead would not be good-looking. Curtis was overruled by the film's director and producer, and the rest his history. And they had not good-looking under their nose the whole time. He's a bit too posh. Grant revealed on The Graham Norton Show that his appearance wasn't the only obstacle when auditioning for Four Weddings and a Funeral. After Norton said the part was written for Grant, the actor scoffed, recalling that he had to audition for an unwilling audience. They were looking for someone kind of more middle of the road, and I think I look really sort of hoity-toity, <laughs> up my own ass, posh. So. <laughs> What's next? It looks like a comeback is in order for Grant. The Charmer stars along Meryl Streep in Florence Foster Jenkins, which has already garnered critical acclaim ahead of its release in August of 2016. If he can keep his nose clean, chances are he can nab whatever roles he wants. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which Hugh Grant film was your favorite.